Claire from Diamond Painting Nerd and welcome to a little unboxing review video. Um, so I have taken on the challenge of doing a complete custom painting where I'm doing it on a blank canvas. Um, and because it's squares and I don't actually have that many square drills, um, my own fault for jumping in and wanting to do the, um, the custom painting um, without actually thinking of the logistics then um, I have gone ahead and I've ordered from Art Dot um, on Amazon for some spare square drills. So they actually had an offer on this at the moment. I've taken it out of the horrible rustly packet, um, so you haven't got to listen to that, but this is how it's turned up. So the offer that they had on currently um, is that they do, I think it's 447 colours and you get 200 of each. Now this is not gonna be enough for me to finish my painting because obviously there are gonna be colors in here that um, 200 is not gonna be anywhere near enough. I have got um, some, I have got a few spares in my stash um, from my previous square paintings, um, but it, yeah, it's definitely not gonna be enough for me to be able to finish, but this is gonna give me a good start now what i wanted to do is that i'd show you the reason why i'm doing this so this is a little sneak peek at the um custom that i'm doing so it's a photograph that i used um, i used pixel stitch um to create myself a custom chart now it does come you can print it out which is what i've done just for reference um it does come on these pages but what i have done as well which i will show you in this video also um is i have purchased um a cheap android i say cheap cheaper than um, a, any other tablet um, a cheap android tablet so i can actually run pattern keeper so i can have this pattern on the tablet rather than trying to work from the paper sheets so on here i actually have a list of <clears throat> all of the dmc colors now there's 88 for this painting this painting is going to be 50.8 by 70 sorry 67.5 centimeters um and yeah you can see on here here is a list of the um the drills that i need the ones with the ticks i've ticked to say yes i've got them or yes i'm going to have enough of them in um my order uh the ones with the ticks on this side um i've got them in my stash but i may not have enough and then the ones with the crosses are even with the 200 of them that are coming in here i don't have any extra in my stash i know that i'm not definitely not going to have enough so um i yeah i'm kind of wanting to start it. it is for an event that starts on the 1st of may so it's not as if i can put it off um it's for an event that i want to take part in so i'm just having to do it so anyway this is this is where i'm at and this is the reason for this purchase because i wouldn't have purchased spare drills i would have just built them up but i really 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 want to do this custom um for this challenge this may um i'm not sure if i'm going to get these out um because they ain't going to go back in i'm not going to kit them into my st uh, spare storage box just yet and the reason for that is I am waiting for some labels. Um, I've done a Timu order. Oh, why did they ship to the UK? They started shipping to the UK, which was the worst news for me. So I did a Timu order and I've actually ordered some more DMC stickers um, and they're square ones. So I have the round ones already and I had started using the round ones for my square drawers as well because the pack that I bought off of Amazon um, actually came with um, two... Uh, I don't know what I've done with the other one. So um, these are the sheets. They actually come like this. Um, and then all of the DMC colours, they come with the stickers. Um, but um, I, there were two sets in the packet that I ordered. So I had started using the round ones, the round stickers. But actually then I thought, you know what? Um, I want the square stickers so I can differentiate. And I've also bought the heart ones as well. So any ABs that I get, I can use the heart ones. So this is the reason that I've ordered um, these square drills from Art Dot. So they are packs of 200. Um, and I'm really reluctant to open these out because I want to get them straight back in the box. So in here, um, so I can see, so we've got two, two large um strips this is going to take forever to um get all of these kitted into my spares um and then so we've got yeah one in there one here and i think this is just on one long train so um at least i'm not gonna have a whole load of loose packs <clears throat> let me see if these are in any particular order um 
I think they are. So this is 5200. 3866, 3865, 3864, 3863, 3843, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 3250. So they are actually in DMC order, which is going to make my life so much easier um, with getting these packets opened, pop them into the little zippy bags um, and away in my storage box. Now, I have said I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to get <clears throat> these into my existing storage box or whether I'm going to have to split out the rounds and the squares, which wasn't going to be an issue initially. Um, but obviously, because I'm doing this custom, it now may well be. So those are the drills from Art Dot. To be fair, sorry, I didn't really mention about the quality. To be fair, looking at these, they are... <clears throat> they are acrylic drills. Now, um, it was actually really difficult to find the information because on the listing it said high quality drills and I'm expecting those to have been resin then. Um, but when I went into the um, the actual details about the product and it said material acrylic. So the answer is that these are acrylic drills. However, looking at these, and you can tell as well because you've got the dips in the bottom, um, looking at these, I can't initially, I can't see any trash in there. I haven't seen any hitchhikers in there. Um, and they look, the facets on the top look to be really nice as well. So I'm hoping um, that this will kind of help me with my custom. And obviously I'll have loads of colours left over for um, other customs as well. And um, will then just help me build my spares of squares. So those are the spare drills that I've ordered. And then I also ordered, and I'm a bit unhappy because can you see how warped this is? And it's the plastic, it's not even how it's transported. That plastic's too tight on this cardstock. So I've ordered, I have ordered, should I say, um, I've ordered a pack of A3 white card. Excuse me, we'll have a sip of my tea. Um, it's a 50 pack and it's 160 GSM. The reason I've ordered this is because this is what I'm going to be doing my diamond painting on. So I am not doing it on a canvas and I'm going to um, do it on um, A3 card and I'm then going to piece them together and then put them in a frame. So for me to um, be able to do this um, at home, you need a large format printer, which luckily, because I'm a scrapbooker, I have a large format printer also. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, uh, there will be a separate video on a tutorial on how to do this. And I'll also show you or show goodness me. I'll also show you how you can print your own gridded canvas um, at home on um, A4 or so eight and a half by 11. So you can do either or. Um, but for me, I'm going to do it on A3 because I've got a large format printer. So it makes sense for me to do that. Um, so I will come back with another, another video on how to um, print a grid on this um, in order to be able to do your own DIY canvas. Um, you obviously are going to need some adhesive to use as well. Um, so I have purchased and I haven't shown this on a video, but I have purchased um, some uh double-sided these are double-sided adhesive sheets um i think there were 25 in here i think um and then all i'm going to do is once my canvas is printed um is i will then apply the double-sided tape on top it's going to leave you naturally with a clear protective sheet um but again you can pull it off and put um release paper on um if that is something that you want to give a go and something you'd prefer to work with it is double-sided tape um, and obviously not poured glue so it's going to make it a little harder to complete this but I've done um, a double-sided tape one in square before and I got on fine with it so I'm not too I'm not too worried oops apologies if that made you uh, a little seasick then okay and then the last thing um, that I purchased was the um the tablet so i know oh, i'm so drawn in this is the problem i know that um i don't have to use pattern keeper for this but i don't think i could oh well, let's just move those bits out of the way it's creating a bit of a shadow isn't it sorry about that i don't think i could sit there and work from this sheet 
um, to be able to um, complete my um, diamond painting. This isn't to scale um, because one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, <clears throat> if I was to print this um, on an A4, then I'd actually end up with seven lots of 10 um, drills across. So this isn't to scale um, in order to, for you just to be able to print this out and do it on here. But I couldn't sit here with my A3 bit of paper um, and start adding my drills on um, with having to refer back to this. I don't think I'd cope. So <clears throat> I have ordered this tablet. So as I've explained, I am in the I'm in the Apple ether. I'm stuck. Everything is and uh, everything is iOS. Um, and it really breaks my heart. The pattern keeper is not available on um, iOS currently. So I had no choice um, but to get an alternative. I have explained, I did try to download it on my, oh, I've got like an old Kindle Fire. I tried to download Pattern Keeper um, or go through the steps of downloading it because it's slightly more difficult on a Kindle, um, on a Fire tablet. Um, but I tried to download it on there and because it's so old, you it just won't, it, it just won't work. So um, I had to bite the bullet and I didn't have to, but I did. Um, and bought myself a tablet purely for that's quite heavy actually um i have an ipad pro um, which is one of the larger ones and it's probably this is probably heavier than that so anyway um so yeah i um decided that i would treat myself to a tablet um for the use of um generally the use of diamond painting only now obviously there could be an added benefit of being able to just set this up and have because my ipad stays upstairs set this up and just have it um i could watch youtube on it and stuff like that so um there could be other advantages also you can have external memory on this which you can't on the ipad <clears throat> so if i am potentially if i'm going away on holiday and i want to take um some downloaded um if I want to download some stuff on Netflix or anything like that, I could potentially download it on here with a bigger uh, memory available um, because I'll soon run out of space on my iPad when I do that. So we have this. Now, this is... Um, I'm not sure the name of the actual company. It did say... It did say on Amazon... Um, for inquiries, please email. Uh, oh, sh sh oh, so okay. The company is Shazen Yifang Digital Technology Co. Limited. Okay. <clears throat> so I did have a look at the. This wasn't the cheapest one, but I did have a look at the reviews on Amazon, um, and this had pretty good reviews. So originally it was eighty. Let me remember this actually because I thought it was seventy pound, but I think it was just under that. It was eighty <clears throat> eighty five pounds, I think originally, and then there was a twenty percent off voucher. You obviously got to worry about why there's a money off voucher, but I did have a look at the reviews, and the reviews were pretty good for this tablet. Um, one other thing that I'm obviously going to need to get hold of is a case for it also. This is a 10 inch um, a 10 inch tablet. <clears throat> one of the reviews did say, well, to be fair, one review said the camera was awful and the other review said the camera was really good. Now, to be honest, I'm not, I don't need it for the camera, so I'm not fussed about that. Now, let's see if there's any charge in this at all. Oh, so I'm hoping that once I've got this all set up, um, then I will be able to download Pattern Keeper and get my um, pattern sent straight over, my PDF sent over, um, or upload it, should I say, and then I will be able to um, use Pattern Keeper with my custom, my DIY um, painting. So I'm hoping it's this slow purely because it's the first time that it's starting up. Because normally I turn my iPad on and it's ready to go straight away. So whilst that's booting up. Oh, hi there. Hi. Um, English. Um, is there English UK option? Let's see. Choose your language. Let's just go with English then. Okay. And then, oh, United Kingdom. Start. 
come on here we go oh it's obviously not going to be able to connect to the wi-fi because i don't know what the wi-fi is set up offline i'll add the wi-fi <clears throat> i'll add the wi-fi afterwards oh it thinks i'm in los angeles i mean i'd love to be but unfortunately i am not and i'm much closer to london uh where is london where are we we just want gmt or oh, british summertime as it is now uh am i being stupid i probably am los angeles so minus six minus five minus four british british summertime there we go um it is not 13:42 it is 14:55 um oh wow what's going on here let's try that again 14:56 oh 56 come on 55 56 okay um is it when no it's thursday the 27th that one okay next okay and then i'll sign into google um hello oh there we go uh set a pin i'm just going to do that okay so i've now got that all sorted and we have the um <clears throat> oh i can't go into the play store just yet because i haven't um i haven't set it up on the wi-fi but i will do but i just wanted to give you a first look to see what it's like i don't quite know how i don't quite know how this all works yet so well that just locks the screen so yeah i'm not too sure on how i get back to the home screen but i'm sure over time i will figure this out and obviously i'll get pattern keeper all downloaded once i've got the in internet um downloaded on it so in the box um comes a charging cable with a usb c um, which is the, the now just the standard charger um, and it also comes with a handy wall plug as well because i know sometimes you only get the charging cable and not the actual wall plug so that is handy to be able to have that to plug it in i have got usb sockets to be fair over all over the house so um i won't necessarily need that but it's always handy to have it um if the usbs are being used so yes this is my little unboxing of my new android tablet which is super heavy i will say um my art dot drills um, which I have got for my custom project and also the A3, goodness me, the A3 cardstock as well. Let's move that out of the way and pop that on top. So those are my three little things that I've picked up from Amazon and I look forward to um, showing you a little more of these. Obviously when I kit these down into my storage, when I print my custom, um, how I print my custom um, a3 grid and then also the use of the tablet um, using the pattern keeper app so thanks very much for joining me for today's video as always if you've enjoyed looking at the um the bits and bobs that i've got um then and you've enjoyed my video then give it a thumbs up if you're new here um be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you are notified when i next upload and drop me any comments down below and i'll see you all again next time Oh, 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 oh,